First of all, before I do anything, or right before I start my soldering stuff, I like to use like at least like 70% pure alcohol, something like that. And I clean all the pads off. That was a little too wet. It's okay. The alcohol will dry if you get it a little too wet. It'll evaporate. And clean them off the alcohol. It gets all the oxidation off. I think that's what it is. <laughs> Take it off. my <laughs> yeah now this is my first build so or not my first build but my first time trying to film a build video uh, I'm gonna have to bear with me if I got a shitty camera view and stuff like that looks like it's pretty decent you're not gonna give me any great close-ups I'm just gonna kind of go over the basics and if I, there's any tips that I use because I do do this for a living I Build quadcopters <laughs> for a living. Custom builds. Um, I'm in the cannabis business too, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> I like to just think that I make all my living from meth TV. Uh, I love this flight controller. Love it, love it, love it. That is the HDLRC. Zeus F7 20 by 20 and this is the matching <laughs> matching uh, ESE actually and I usually <laughs> I hardly ever get a matching stack because there's always an ESE I want all right now we're going to tend these up and I use oh see, I gotta get used to that I use oh this is gonna be tough bro I use Kester, the 6337 stuff, the leaded. Uh, the best there is, man. Okay, let's see. I'm going to get a blower a few times. Keep your tip nice and clean. I'm not even going to try to move that camera to see. All I'm doing is rubbing it in some steel wool. You can use a, a damp sponge. I use a steel wool because I don't like, like having to wet it and everything. The steel wool seems to work fast anyway. I mean, it cleans it real good. Well, this is a, kind of a fat tip I've got on here. I'll change my tip to a smaller one. But after I do, you know, like the put my XD60 and stuff on. I just want to get this thing hot, and then once you get it hot, you just, man, you can just run it across, beat it, but you don't want to keep it, I'm going to try to give you soldering lessons, maybe a couple tips, but, oh, you know what I forgot? <laughs> I forgot the most important thing, after the alcohol, and my iron's a little too hot, uh, flux, get the caster, tester one six seven bucks or something uh, it's awesome man it just man be liberal with it just put it on there you can clean it up later if you don't like the way it looks just put it on there man. but it looks nice bro I just I'll do one and then then ten it I don't like to let that let that flux sit there and dry and stuff that's some sticky ass shit though now what's the difference see how the when I tried to you know put the to tin that up how I kind of got stuck there for a second now the beads ain't very nice look at this what's this see that oh see those shiny beads ah. tinning is the easy part I remember seeing kebab. I think it was kebab soldering or somebody and then run their iron across all them. I was like, oh my god, it's like magic. How do they do that? <laughs> and I learned it. 
see some nice beads. And, you know, uh, uh, I use the the screws, the mounting screws. I keep. I don't screw anything down. I keep it loose, and I use it to hold everything. It's the holder. I don't use any kind of helping hands. I'm using some helping hands to hold my phone to film right now. He's, he's blue tagged. I don't know if I'll move it. I don't use it that much, but I do use it. Some blue tag comes in handy. What's this stuff right here? I, uh, let's see. Well, I thought I had the box right here. And I don't. Because it took me forever to find that stuff. Because I kept calling it blue tag because that's what the guy from the UAV Futures called the studio. All right, it's made by Loctite. The same guy that we put our screws and stuff on. Okay, I'm going to pause it here. Let's get this one. Here, we'll go ahead and do one thing. I'm not gonna pause it yet. But that's it. I've got to get my XT60 here. I'm gonna put it on first. And see, this uh, ESC is nice. It's got the pads on the other side, so it's perfect for to, to put your capacitor. I'm just going to dial it. It'll get, I'll hit it again right here. Okay, unless I can see my XT60. Actually. I've got one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use kind of a long XT60. I don't mind having a long XT60. That's not too long for that. Let's see. We're gonna run it off the back. Just kinda, or no, I mean, I don't usually run it off the back. But last time I built this, I ran it off the front, right behind and through the hole, the top plate. That was kinda nice. Uh, use your top plate to judge. Yeah, I might run it since I got that antenna mount and stuff this time. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice right there. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna run it off the back, and that's about the perfect length too. It might be a little long. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it since. Uh, usually, I would advise to cut these, but to redo it completely. But at least. At least retin them. Just put run some pressed tin, some solder on them. This is where blue tack comes in handy. I like this. I like this. I'll smash that shit down. And, uh, make, I have to keep taking the camera down. Okay. Put the hot. Here I'm turning my little iron up almost the whole way. I'm using a cheap iron. Yes, I know, but. It's a cheap iron, but I bought some good tips, which are still cheap. I mean, and it, this thing works great, man. It gets hot really fast, which is like, man, I'm never in that much of a hurry to get it hot. Everybody's always worried about how hot it gets, how fast it gets hot. I should have some music playing in the background. That might make it a little better. A little more entertaining. <laughs> oh, see what I'm doing? Like, like, like that, swinging my iron around over my components? That is stupid. Don't do that. No, do not do that. You clean off your iron pretty good, then that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this with this light here. These motor wires out of the way. There's still some pretty good plucks on there, so actually I'm going to add a little bit more at my wires too. Alright, so let's see. Where's that plus? Okay. Red is plus, black is minus. <laughs> and I better grab some pliers for this because these wires get pretty hot. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, and I'll press it down not too hard, just kind of firmly. Make sure it gets a good heat and then hold it right there. Mm, see how that's kind of dull? Let's see what happens with black. I'm going to do that red one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, see, it's kind of hard to do it, but it's dead. <laughs> All right, and see, because I probably didn't give it enough heat. Roll it a little bit, make sure it's right down on there. Boom. Yeah, see that? Yeah. A little better. Yeah, quite a bit. You don't want no doll look like that. So you get your heat down in there. Yeah, see that? Way, whoa. I don't know why it's turning that color. Maybe there was something in that. Something in that solder out there. That's a good bead, though. I don't know what that coloring is, that discoloration is, but the bead is in there. That's a good bead. Alright, you know, I'm trying to. You don't want to get your. Woo, see, that's hot. You know, I'll wait before I put the rest of those on there. So, and this is where I would cut, cut my motor wires. And I could get fancy and run them all, you know, all nice and flat and run them up in here like that. But that's, uh, that's, I don't know, it's just a waste of time if you're just going to go out there and fly and break it. <laughs> I like it to look nice, but man, I'm, I'm, tired of wasting my time doing all these little extra things to make it look good and cleaner, more clean and then it just break and you do repairs and mess up your pretty build job these alright, just kind of want to run them how you think they're going to run them you know, I kind of do it different than a lot of people, I don't know I just kind of go with it man, I've been doing this for a while scissors work better at this point right here, don't I mean, if you use these, you can't really get in. It's like getting there, but I guess you could get the cutters with it right on the tip. Scissors seem to snip these wires better, man. Get a little bit of slack. And they say, everybody says, longer is better than shorter, which it is. But you can always add a little piece of wire later to it. It just makes it ugly. See how I did that? Mm, that's not good. Mm. Oh, but I got that one long enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do one of these. And then I, I'm not even going to do a time lapse. I'm just going to stop the camera and, and do the rest of them. Move on to the next step. Time lapse is all that extra video you got to deal with and edit. <laughs> Up. Sucks. Especially if I'm editing on my phone right now. So, uh, Alright. Turn these wires up. See if you can see. Alright. These motors are the. RCM Power Wasp. They're a weird size, but they're basically 2306s. Clean the tip off. Clean the tip off. You don't want a bunch of sloppy thing on there. Of course, when you get down on the Now, I want to see these pads. You know, it's like that one right there. It doesn't quite have, you know, that much solder on it. Uh, I might want to add a little more, just to make it a nice little bead on there. Yeah, I see that there, a little thicker. And you just basically do what... Uh, yeah, see, now that... Yes, he's cool, though. 
Let's do what you did on the XT60. Move, move the quad, you know, to the best position. See, it's not good to do like this and then, you know, reach your iron over because, you know, you can drop beads of solder down in there. But I can't do it from the other direction or anything because there's like helping hands over there holding the phone. Uh, I always do whatever a tip... I just always do build whatever works first. If you got to put your ESC backwards or your plug controller back backwards, do whatever fits the best, and then change change everything in beta flight. Do your channel mapping and all that stuff. resource mapping. Oh, that was shit. I'm at the wrong angle. That was horrible. Oh my god! Look at me put my iron right on top of that fat. Uh, don't do that, ladies and gentlemen. Do not do that. There we go. <sighs> That's horrible. That's a good bead. Now, I'm going to run it out like this. Just a little bit. See, I'm not... Even after a couple of years of practice soldering, man, it still sucks sometimes. I mean, that flux is wore off now. Oh, shit. Uh, well, uh, I may have to go back and hit that one again later. Uh, I can usually do this really fast, but <laughs> I don't like to stick it straight out like that. I don't want the wires to stick out. I really I'm just gonna, gonna angle it back a little bit. Oh, move on there. You want that wire right against that pad, man. You don't have to get a perfect bead over the top of it. You know, just you want it to kinda of do the shape of the wire and just kind of you'll see the solder kind of roll down the sides of the, the wire. Man, this wire's a way too long, man. Now, let's see, just move them up there like that. Uh-oh. See what I did? I made a boo -boo seat. And then, you know what I'm going to do to fix that? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> it's going to... Look different, but I don't. Yes, I cut it too short. Oh, I, I need to change my tip. Wow. That's part of, part of my problem. It's a big fat tip, little blue pads on this 20 by 20. Can't see anything with this big tip. Yeah, I know they're ugly. Yeah, I'll clean them up later. And, but that'll work really. That's fine. This one's a. I might do this one again because it's pretty nasty. I think I got a bunch of rubber in it or something. Definitely gonna change my tip. Uh, great for the XT60, and that's about it. Yeah, if you're pretty new at soldering, use a big fat tip for your XT60, and then use something smaller. You decide if you want to use a chisel tip. Uh, much better. See that? A little bit better. And all the wires are soft because. You know, while they're hot, they're soft. You kind of press them, you know, tuck them in there, and then they'll harden up, and they'll stay like that. Uh, 
Yeah, you know, so I don't like those bolts right there. All right, I'm gonna smoke a cigarette, pause this, and when you come back, all of those, all of them, the motor wires are gonna be done. All right, let's do like, uh, let's do three, two, one.